Love the song following the massive success of that single, Riptide. Vance Joy is back at it, burning up the charts again with the new single, Fire and the Flood, currently on tour, opening up for Taylor Swift, no big deal. And back in town in the new year, we're pleased to welcome the band into our living room. They're going to perform in a bit, but first, please welcome the incredibly tall Vance Joy. Good to see you. You stand at a whopping what? As soon as I saw you, I'm like, it's Vance. Six four? Yes, almost, almost. And to think, you know, people were thinking you were going to have this lucrative career as, as you would say, in Australia, football player soccer yeah. player as we say here and then you made this turn to music so music was always very much a part of you right yes yeah music uh, I always enjoyed playing covers and I would play to my teammates at uh, Green Day yeah I play Green Day that was like one of the first songs uh, time of your life and um, just a lot of popular songs um, Foo Fighters and uh, yeah I'd play covers and eventually I started writing my own songs but um, yeah I kept it very secret that I was a songwriter and uh, when sport wasn't really going to happen for me, I, I thought, I'm going to spend some time, write some more songs and, and maybe see, see where music goes. And it's been a cool couple of years of you oh know, touring as a musician. Are you kidding me? This is huge. And touring with one of the biggest performers in the world right now, Taylor Swift. Yeah. So talk to us about Riptide. When you see, this thing was like a tidal wave all over the world. You know, number one in Europe, uh, Australia, Canada, the US. That's incredible, and it all started with a childhood memory. Is it a hotel you used to visit? Yeah, uh, when I was a little kid, we went to a, a beach, a beach suburb kind of town called Queenscliff. It's in in Melbourne, where I'm from, and uh, there was this really budget motel we stayed at called the Riptide Motel, <laughs> and um, yeah, it was a beautiful place and a beautiful, you know, quiet beach. And um, I don't know that that word must have stayed in my head. And so I was writing this song a couple of years ago, and. Uh, I was, you know, I guess I was in my in my head. I was thinking about the beach, and I was thinking about, I just, I guess, memories were kind of coming into my head, and I pieced uh, a story together, you know, with those memories. Such a beautiful song, a melody, and so catchy, huge Thank success. You. And of course, you've got this five-year deal now. Everybody wants a piece of Vance Joy. We're so <laughs> happy you're performing here, and you're going to be back on yeah. tour because here you are, you know, sharing the world stage with Taylor, these massive stadiums. <laughs> but you also love that intimate experience with your fans. So when yes. are you coming back? Well, I'm coming back. I'm coming back uh, at the start of the year, and I don't wish I wish I remembered the exact date. It's okay, you're kind of busy. But um, yeah, I'm coming back uh, early next year in the winter, which okay. I'm going to have well, to be prepared for. Good but, luck um, with that. <laughs> yeah, I love playing. I love playing the intimate shows for sure. And I've got such a. I feel like I've got a really special um, group of fans in Canada. You do. And I love kind of coming back and and uh, performing for for my fans here. And I don't know. It's it's a really good feeling in Canada. So yeah. And it's you've got such a charitable heart. Recently, just yesterday, in fact, October 1st, marking Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you released, along with many other notables in the music world, mm. something called the Boob Project, inspired yeah. by a young eight-year-old whose mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And these DJs on a radio show decided, you know, let's ask anybody, you know, friends of ours, if mm. they're willing to sing a line. So you signed on. No yeah. Noel Gallagher signed yeah. on. Hosier, El King, Spandau Ballet, members of the Grateful Dead. What was it like to give back and see the success only two days in now yeah, it's been released? I can see it. Yeah, it was really special. I um, So the project is, it was a great story that the eight-year-old boy who's the son of uh, Mike, one of the people at KFOG, the radio station, he um, he put a CD, a cardboard CD with lyrics on it, and he actually forced it into the uh, CD drive of the of his, uh, I think his dad's car. I love it. And so his dad like pried this cardboard thing and he's like, oh. And he found the lyrics of this song and they turned those lyrics which his eight-year-old eight boy had written into a song and the song's oh really nice gosh, and it's, it it was, it it's cool i saw that video i saw noel gallagher and i saw uh, florence welch and and hosier and i was like yeah. wow it's pretty cool oh good for you for taking part continued success guys do not stray far from your tv for the first time in canadian television vance joy is performing his brand new single fire and the flood right here just for you you've got a late night but you're young you can handle this Thank right you, kevin was worried about you <laughs> do you think taylor swift would be a, a curse to our jays my co-host is convinced that taylor swift is going to be a curse to our blue jays who are on fire right now yeah 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 I, is that ridiculous a curse to the jays i don't think so i, I never think, like, i think, never this said is, this is a yeah. guy who was like i pro, never said i was convinced soccer player kev so i you never know, said i was you know convinced what the mentality is yeah. like Oh, I never were, said I was convinced oh, that curse. she's a curse. He's I'm, I'm, now I was just saying. Gonna tell him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I don't. I just. You I don't tell hope T-Swift. Kevin hope started it. Okay, thank you. I wasn't saying I was convinced. I was saying some people are saying.
and it's it's in the newspapers. <laughs> oh, really? That's but I'll word. tell you, Dina and and, and and Vance, I had so many comments like, <laughs> maybe we should postpone you, um, <laughs> even to the point of shut up. No one cares about your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the Swifties are on you. That's amazing. Oh, isn't that hilarious? Yeah, yeah. So, Kev, did you want to say I'm sorry, maybe, or I'm you take it back? I'm sorry. Take it back. I take it back. Okay, thank you. Nothing but.